Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video, which is talking about a tool, a free add-on for your PC Flight Simulator 2020 called Toolbar Pushback. Completely free add-on, gives you an accurate, probably the most accurate pushback for your airliners or indeed any aircraft if you're starting them from a cold and dark state and you need a pushback from Microsoft Flight Simulator and it gives you so much more. Like I said, the best thing about this is it's completely free. So let's not dilly dally, let's get into this video. So before we get to the toolbar pushback app and add-on, let me just give you a quick reminder of the default pushback, which is not very accurate. I'm in a cold and dark state at Heathrow Airport. By the way, I've got the Europe liveries pack for the A320 installed. As you can see, I've got the EasyJet livery there. I may do a future video on this. Good thing about this is once you have it installed, you've got other aircraft with the liveries showing up as well. That's not the subject of this video. Cold and dark state, default cold and dark state. If I try and get ATC up, you can't without getting power to the aircraft first. So let's get some external power going. Now, let's jump back outside. ATC, bit fiddly, but then you can click on ground services here and request things like the uh, jetway connection. Alpine, one, one, two, three. Would you please connect the jetway and then you've the got aircraft. all this talk going on ATC talk usually have ATC voices off I don't use ATC a lot as yet future video on that coming up though and things like that and baggage I'm not going to start all of them up let's just disconnect there you go that was a quick load disconnect the jetways <laughs> we'll just let the ATC talk And hopefully it will decide to disconnect. There we go. Oh, that's fine. Let's get the pushback going. That's what I want to show you. I think I want to push back to the left on the taxi line, which will be about there. See how accurately I can do this. Request pushback. All the default voices. This changes, by the way. The voices change and they're, over they're overridden with the toolbar pushback, as I'll show you later. I've got it on live multiplayer, live weather as well. It does look very murky, which is lovely to see. Lovely cloud formations there. Anyway, not the subject of this video again. Let's just get the pushback truck locked on. There we go. I say release parking brake. Let's see how accurately I can push back to that line. Oh, didn't even say release the parking brake, so I'll release it myself. Push back to the left. It takes a while. You probably all know this, but it takes a while from when you request it. Oh, no. See, it's a bit fiddly. It's a right I want to go to, in fact. See, it's still pushing back. It's just awkward, awkward, awkward. Okay, now it's doing it. Obviously, those more used to the default. Ugh. Anyway, and that happens, and goodness knows what. Before you know it, it's going to stop the pushback. Uh, it's all very, very fiddly. Of course, I've not got my batteries or engine turned on, and goodness knows what. So, yeah, lost ATC there. It's more fault of what I was doing. Can I stop it? <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. It can be a bit of a nuisance. Very difficult to push back accurately on the taxi lines or to where you want it. I'm probably going to crash into another thing now. It's going to keep going. <laughs> Let me now jump to the toolbar pushback add-on. I'll show you how much better that is. Okay, so before I show you this add-on in practice... 
Uh, this is where you download it from. I'm going to link this down in the description. And then you can download it from here. It comes in a zip file. Unzip that and then put the file, the sort of main top folder, into your community folder where your Flight Simulator 2020 or Microsoft Flight Simulator is installed. Okay, let's waste no more time. Let me show you this app in action. Okay, so here we are back at Gatwick Airport in the EasyJet livery. I'm completely cold and dark at the moment. No battery power, no external power, no power going to the aircraft at all. It's default cold and dark state. Now, what I'm going to do, if you've installed toolbar pushback, at the top here in your icons next to active pause, you'll get an extra icon called pushback. Left click that and you'll get this box pop open here. Now, even though I'm completely cold and dark here, I can go to this aircraft tab here. And I can request things like the jetway, even though I've got no power turned on. Obviously, you go to ATC with no power. You can't do anything. You need some power going to the aircraft. With this, it's just a simple button click. The door will open. Jetway will attach. If you want to, you can open things like your baggage hatch with a click of a button. Now, the baggage truck is going to go straight towards it. Possibly... Oh, sorry, I actually clicked baggage there. <laughs> I requested it. So let's try that again. If you want to, you can open doors without getting the catering services. So if I want the aft door open, I can left-click that. The doors will open. Now it's open, I might as well uh, get the catering van op over there. Get the catering supplies on board. Okay, so as you can see, all with simple clicks of a button. I really like this part. It's a nice little extra. Rather than messing around with ATC and requesting it from there, you can do it with simple clicks of the button. The options I've not messed around with so far, you can simulate nose wheel lift, which I'll keep on. I'll show you that later. Prevent stairs from leaving, that type of thing. You can play around with these. I've just not felt a need to, and it's nice to have them all on. Let's get to the main thing. Replan pushback. Now, when you open this for the first time, by the way, you'll typically get this box open telling you about two-bar pushback and the patrons, and it gives you links to buy him a coffee or join his patron. At least go and send him a couple of pounds if you're going to use this, would be my endorsement. Click OK to get rid of that. Let's click the pre-planned pushback box. An extra box will open a here, pushback planner. When you start this for the first time, you'll get this box telling you how to use it. I'm going to show you that in the planner anyway. We're a bit zoomed in, so I'm going to hold my left control button and scroll my wheel down. And you can zoom in and out with that. So left control on your keyboard and mouse wheel. This can be a bit buggy. It can bug out sometimes. Just be aware. It's not perfect. So don't go wild with the scroll function. Just be a little bit careful with it. Hopefully they'll patch that in in future updates. This green silhouette is where you want your aircraft to be pushed back to. So I want it on the taxi line here to my left there where I'm facing. And you can use your mouse wheel to scroll that silhouette, uh, rotate the silhouette. So I want my pushback to be on that taxi line about there. I can left click my mouse button. It will place the silhouette there and press the enter key on the keyboard. That's where I want my pushback to go to. Let's see how it does, shall we? Let's cancel all these services. Jetway. The catering. And the baggage. Let's just cancel them all just by clicking on them. So the baggage is moving out of the way. The jetway is. The catering truck's lowering there. Still no power on in the aircraft. This is just by simple clicks of the mouse button. On the various buttons here. You can get rid of all the different services. These stairs, this is more an issue with flight sim. They seem to stay for a while. Unless he's just waiting for these things to park up so he can move. I'm going to close my cargo doors anyway and try and encourage him. Probably just clipped him a little bit there, but never mind. 
Uh, it will move eventually. Let's get back to pushback and request the pushback. There's a couple of extra bits that you get over the default here. I'm going to show you these. Let's request it. So obviously it's going to move into position as normal. Thankfully the stairs moved out of the way eventually. Or well, the ramp rather. So I'll let it just get into place there. There's a little car driving around here. Where's he going? Okay. Getting the attention of the emergency services. Pretty gloomy day in London. The bypass pin is installed. All doors and hatches closed and all ground equipment is removed. The parking brakes are set. You may lift. You may lift. Parking brakes set. Watch. Lifting the aircraft. So this is something. As you can see, it lifts the front of the aircraft. Isn't that wonderful? You're cleared for start and push. Okay. Cleared for push start. Please release parking brake. Okay. I'll, I'll do that with my controller. And if you wanted to, if you were going for a flight, then you could start up your engines while it's pushing back. I'm going to keep an eye on this pushback to see how accurate... What's this? Uh, AI control vehicles. To see how accurate or not it pushes me back. It's not always 100%, and I'm just being transparent with this. With the uh, pushback planner that came up before, if that bugs out, this can become quite inaccurate. It didn't bug out there, so it should accurately push us back on this line here, as you can see. And you'll get none of that sort of suddenly stopping, unless you cancel it yourself manually. It should continue right up to the place that you pre-planned, which I think is fantastic. Like I said, if you wanted to pop into the aircraft and start up the aircraft engines and goodness knows what, uh, whilst you were being pushed back, you could do that. Seems to be pretty accurate so far to where I requested. Right on the line, it looks like. And it's incredibly difficult as you saw, to do this in the default pushback. Absolutely incredibly difficult. I'm going to show you. It's not just for the set for the airline. You can do this with any aircraft. I'll show you that in a moment. So there we go. Right on the line. Pretty much where, well, exactly where we requested that pushback. Look at that. Should line us up absolutely perfectly with that taxi line. As it is doing. Lovely, lovely. Bang on it. <laughs> you can't get a much more perfect pushback than that. Okay, pushback. Okay. Parking brake set. Parking brake set. Lowering, aircraft. Lowering the aircraft. I love that part. I just think for a free add-on, it adds okay, so sir, much. Pin has been removed. See you at the side. Have a good flight. Holding position, waiting for the visual. Thank you and goodbye. Very polite speech as well. Absolutely love it. Okay, let me take you now, or let me show you how this works with a different aircraft. So just to show you this in a different aircraft, I've been mean the trusty old Cessna 172 at a rather murky looking London City Airport. Live weather, live multiplayer. It does look quite nice. I'm going to go for a fly after this. I like this, the look of this weather. I'm not far from London City or not far from London and it's pretty accurate to where we are. What's this truck doing? It's going to drive into me. I've not got any pushback set. Or maybe it's just going to get into place. Go right through to the wing. There you go. <laughs> How typical. What is he up to? 
Oh well. Oh man, just loaded into the flight. Uh, okay, he's going to stop around there. That's fine. He's going to go into his little place wherever that is. Let's go to the pre-planned pushback menu. That's more to do with flight simulator rather than the actual add-on. <laughs> it's nothing to do with that. Now, we're far enough zoomed out as it is. I want to push back to around about here, this point here, on that line, right on where they intersect. So I'm going to muck. I don't even need to drag here. I'm just going to move the silhouette over to that line. Use my mouse wheel to rotate the silhouette. You know, that will... Let's try and get it as accurate as we can, just to see how accurate. Uh, come on. There. Right on the line there. Press my enter key on the keyboard. Right, okay. Request pushback. Come back, Jimmy boy. We need you. You know, with this... Depends what aircraft you're going to be flying, but with something like the Cessna, you won't get all the speech happening. Uh, it's, that's usually sort of uh, more for the airliners and passenger aircraft, I believe. So you won't get that type of thing. A couple of little differences here, as I'll show you. Okay, he's coming into place. Got the guys here, keeping an eye on, eye on him. <laughs> Don't get too close. There we go. Now he's going to go back into my wing. This is more an artifact or issue with Flight Simulator. It happens on the manual pushback as well. And there's a point here. Do you do you need a pushback for the Cessna 172? Well, it's up to you. It's nice to have it pushed back and then you can go and taxi. Let's just see how accurate... There you go. He goes back into the wing. <laughs> there we go. It's all set. So I can release the parking brake. And you've also got to click here the hold button, and that will get you moving. So let's see how accurately he pushes back to that line. It's starting to look pretty accurate. And I'm just showing you this example in the Cessna 172. It could be any aircraft, small passenger aircraft perhaps. Anything you want to be flying there, and you want a more accurate pushback. It will do it for you. There you go. That's pretty accurate, isn't it? Got to get us right onto that line there. Right to where we requested. So our wings should be over this line. And it's happening. And we smack bang on it. Smack bang on it. Very, very accurate. I'll set my parking brake. I can click on that box or set your parking brake on your controller. And there you go. Listen, for a free add-on, you've got nothing to lose. It adds a lot of versatility, a lot more accurate in the pushback. There's a couple of issues with it, especially with the pre-planner box there. When that comes up, if you're scrolling in and out too much, it can go a little bit haywire sometimes. But you can just restart to correct that or just be a little bit gentle. And it's probably, probably going to be updated as time goes along. Unfortunately, it's only available for PC Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let's hope one day that Xbox opens their app store for apps like this so that the Xbox users can get, uh, can enjoy this as well. Completely recommended. Links down in the description. Let me know your thoughts. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you very soon.